Hey guys, welcome back to another week of online messages with Chrissy. Just kidding, but I am happy you're here. <laughs> oh, I'm kind of going stir crazy in case you can't tell. It's just me and a six month old all day, every day. I miss you guys. <laughs> all right, let's get into it. Before we start, I asked some of our student leaders and youth to read some quotes for me. So let's take a listen. Today, Albert Einstein says a quote that says, whoever is careless with the truth in small matters cannot be trusted with important matters. Integrity is doing the right thing even if no one is watching. C.S. Lewis. Real integrity is doing the right thing knowing that nobody is going to know whether you did it or not. Oprah Winfrey. So in case you didn't figure out from the quotes, tonight I wanted to talk about integrity. And to me, integrity means you're showing how honest you can be and how strong you can be and like just saying your goals, your values and just all that, expressing that type of emotion. I would define integrity as how someone sort of reacts to something like if they react to it uh, positively negatively uh, or any other things like that hi gang oh integrity um it's probably something i value most um i once read that integrity is doing the right thing even when nobody's watching um it's about Knowing what's right in your heart, knowing what the right thing to do is, and doing it even if it's unpopular, even if it's difficult. Um, it's doing what you say you're going to do. It's following through. Um, again, it's something I value and try to strive for all the time in my work, in my family, um, at church. Um, being a Christian sometimes takes integrity. Um, speaking um, about being a Christian, even when it's not the popular thing to be, or standing up for the values you have because you're a Christian, um, even when it's not the popular thing to do. Integrity begins small. It's who we are when nobody's looking. But think back to a time when you may be told just a small lie. And then you had to cover it with another lie. And then another one. And with each lie, things became more and more complicated. I started this ball with just like a couple small rubber bands. But in order to hold those together, I had to keep covering them over time with more rubber bands until the first two are so covered that I could not tell you what is at the center of this ball anymore. I know it's rubber bands, but I don't know what they look like, how big they are, nothing. It's kind of like lies. They can start small, but in order to hold them together, you often have to add more lies. And this keeps going until you don't even remember the first lie that you told. You're so deep in the cover story now, you just have to keep adding more layers to protect and cover those first small lies. That gets really old really fast and exhausting. Trying to remember who you told what, it's, it can become impossible. Think of how many times you see on TV somebody famous that everyone thought was such a great example who was someone who was honest and just a very good person and they mess up big time. Do you really think they just woke up one day and thought, I'm gonna go out and lie, steal, cheat, do whatever and just disappoint everyone? No. And I don't really think integrity is valued in society today. Yes, I think it is very valued in today's world just because of how honest people have to be in today's world and 
how strong they can be and how they show their values and how they never give up. And that's um, it. I do worry that integrity is, is not where it should be in our, in our world today. Well, I think sometimes we have a real, it's all about me attitude and I'm going to get, I'm going to do what I need to do to get what I need. Um, I'm going to say what I need to say just to get what I need. Um, or I'm going to bend the rules just a little because nobody's watching anyway. It begins in small decisions. Telling one small lie or changing that one tiny detail or making that one poor choice. You think to yourself, nobody saw me, so it's not that big of a deal. One day you, wait, one day you do wake up and what started out small has become a big, giant ball of lies. Some of you have probably heard about King David in the Bible. He was an awesome king, one of Israel's best. In fact, he was called a man after God's own heart. He was such a man of integrity and character. Yet this amazing king made one small choice, which led to one lie, which led to another, and then another. Up to the point that King David had stolen another man's wife, committed adultery, had her husband killed in battle, and still did not want to admit that he had done anything wrong until he was finally confronted. David messed up big time. Look at this ball. It took David coming face to face with his big ball of lies to realize that he had betrayed God, that he had sacrificed his integrity. It's really easy to look at other people and wonder how they could ever put themselves in that type of position. But let's be honest, all of us have failed and all of us have been less than honest, if we're being honest. Maybe you talk about a friend behind their back or you told your parents that you finished homework that really wasn't done, or you watched a video that you know you shouldn't have, or said something that you just really regret. You reason with yourself that it was a small thing. It was just one rubber band. Nobody knew about it. But there's something that we tend to forget. Somebody does know about it. God. What if I were to tell you that I had a video of your deepest, darkest secret. A video that showed every single lie you've ever told. I know, you're thinking that's not possible, so whatever. But just imagine for a minute that it could be possible. What would you worry about showing up on that video? What would you never want anyone else to know about or see? Because this little imaginary video helps you answer one tough question. Do you live with integrity? I would hope that all of you understand that integrity is really about knowing who you are, following through no matter what, um, especially in our Christian lives. Ask anyone who has made bad choices and they will tell you that it started small. They never realized it was that moment behind that closed door or that one text message that compromised who they were. It's in those moments that you realize who you are and who God wants you to be are pretty far apart. Right now, we probably have more of those moments than usual. We're home with not much more to do than hang out with our families, watch TV, scroll aimlessly through social media, and watch YouTube video after YouTube video. There's lots of opportunities for us to fudge whether we've completed all of our e-learning assignments or maybe even whether we logged in at all that day or whether we watched something that we know we shouldn't have or said something on social media that really wasn't kind. The good news is, God can help you. But first, you have to let him help you be honest with him and yourself. 
Psalm 139, verses 22 through 23 tell us, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. Guess who wrote this prayer? David. Yep. That same King David who stole a man's wife and had him killed. David, the man who it would be so easy to look at a friend and whisper, Wow, he really messed up, didn't he? But he's also the man who realized his sin and came to God pleading for forgiveness. He's the man God restored. Isn't that amazing? I'm going to read this prayer once more, and I want you to spend some time quietly letting God search your heart. Just a, just a minute or so. Ask God to point out those things in you that are knotted up, balled up. The ways that your integrity is less than God wants. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Remember, for each of us, this should be a daily thing. So I challenge you to pray this prayer every night right before you go to bed and see how God helps you to live the life of integrity that he's calling each of us to live. Because living a life of integrity is possible, but only with God showing us our true selves every step of the way. God is patient and he loves us and he wants us to live lives of integrity. He will forgive you for the ways that maybe you failed to be who he created you to be. I promise. So tonight, let's pray. Lord, walk with us. We need your guidance every step of the way. Help us see those times when we have a decision to make about who we are and who we are not. Help us to follow you and not our own desires. And show us the way that we need to walk, talk, and think to stay in step with you. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Well, guys, I appreciate you joining me tonight. I'm going to throw up um, at the end of the video just some questions. If you want to use them for your small group time, or maybe you want to watch this video with your parents and just have a conversation with them. Um, I think it's just a good conversation, a good topic, and a good time to talk about what it means to live a life of integrity now when we're home and when we go back to life post-COVID-19. Have a blessed week. I really miss you all. I miss your smiling faces. But I will see you back here next week, same time, same place. Have a great day, guys. Miss you.